Good day class, good day class. I'm back with another video and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to turn objects into brick or give the brick-like texture to your objects in the Blender 3D program. So the first thing you guys wanna do, I want you guys to go over to Texture Haven because it's a good source to download PBRs and HDRs of your choice. Now what you wanna do is you're gonna head over there and you're gonna find it brick that you, the brick texture and you're going to download it okay create an hdr folder wherever you want but remember where you created it now place your downloaded hdr file in that folder and extract it in the folder okay now we're going to open up our blender program and we're going to go to the top left where it says edit we're going to choose preferences and then add-ons now I want you to either install or search for Node Wrangler, which should be automatically in, in, in installed from Blender anyway. So just make sure there's Node Wrangler is enabled. Check mark that box. Perfect. Now we're gonna go to layout and we're gonna go to the right property panel, choose modifiers. It looks like a wrench. Now we're gonna choose subdivision, set to two, right click on your object, shade smooth. Now we're gonna go back to the right property panel, choose the material property, create new, create new material, set surface base to set surface base to principal BSDF. Now we're gonna change the name to Easy PBR. With object selected, open shader view, which should be the top center of your screen, select principal BSDF. With the principal BSDF selected, we're gonna press Shift, Control T. This should open up a window to find your texture maps. So you're gonna open up the HDR folder that you downloaded earlier and select every texture file that's in it. There should only be four. Now all your texture files are connected. If you don't see the displacement while in render view, make sure you are in cycles using experimental features and material is not set to only bump. You can change the scale of displacement in the nodes and you can also change the strength and scale of the displacement right inside of the material properties. Now what you want to do if it doesn't look too good is change to adaptive subdivision for best displacement results. I hope this helped you guys. It was a pretty quick tutorial this is how you would get brick texture on your object in the blender 3d program if you learned something today hit the like button and if you want to keep learning with the channel hit the subscription turn the notification bell on and until next time keep learning and keep teaching see ya